What is the package of coverages that computer programming businesses, software developers, app developers need in order to properly protect their operation? This is a very good question. There are four specific coverages. Let's explain them right now. Hi, Ryan Hanley here, founder and president of Rogue Risk, where we do insurance differently, specifically by giving you knowledge and information to make the right insurance decision. If you enjoy this content and you're watching on YouTube, please just tap that like button for us. That helps other professionals in your industry know that this video has some value. Okay, let's deliver that value now. So when it comes to computer programming, creating software, whether it's apps, website development, um, application development, um, this can even get as nuanced if we're going into the blockchain and, and doing you know, Web3 tech. So, so level of sophistication can range. Um, the coverages, the base coverages you need to consider are essentially the same regardless of what level of sophistication and what size of software development and programming you're actually doing. Uh, also, it doesn't matter what language you're working in. Um, sometimes it can matter what industry you're in. So if you're specifically working with financial services and regulated businesses in the financial space, uh, or you're working with some protected class of citizens businesses like citizens with disabilities or children, there can be a few additional questions. It doesn't mean you can't get coverage. It just means there are uh, a few additional nuances in the coverages that will need to be added. So just be aware of that. But the four basic coverages that will set the foundation for your for your operation and the protection of your operation, the sustainability and profitability of your operation, which is what insurance does, are a business owner's policy, workers' compensation, uh, professional liability, which includes uh, media tech liability, as well as cyber liability. Okay, breaking those down real quick for you. A business owner's policy is gonna have your general liability that slips, strips, and falls, third party, bodily injury, property damage, stuff like that, as well as a basket of other coverages that are very common for your space and the off the general office environment, being that you're more of an office risk, professional class risk versus say a contractor. Okay, that's gonna be your business owner's policy. Absolute necessity, no brainer. It's not gonna be very expensive, most likely. You need to purchase that coverage. The second is going to be workers' compensation. Now, this can get a little tricky based on how you have your employees set up. So W-2 employees are gonna be a little different from third-party contractors, uh, whether you're in an office working remote throughout the United States or working with individuals uh, outside the United States. There's gonna be some nuances there that you know we'll wanna talk through, make sure it's properly set up. But again, based on the fact that most people are working from home or working for an office, mostly computer work, you need to have a worker's comp policy of employees, but that policy is also, in the general sense, not going to be overly expensive. The two main coverages that you're going to want to think about are professional liability and specifically professional liability that under that captures programming. Now, a lot of uh, uh, software development companies will just get a miscellaneous professional liability policy. That doesn't that isn't necessarily a bad thing. But you want to make sure that your insurance professional or yourself or someone on your team is reading through that policy to make sure that it's going to pick up the fact that your professional services are computer programming. There are some policies. Now, some of these policies, the language is going away as sophomore programming has become more widespread and more ubiquitous in basically every industry that exists. But there are there are carve outs for some of the things that you do in some standard miscellaneous professional liability policies. So if you can get a media tech policy, a policy that's going to cover the fact that you're creating uh, maybe an application or something that can be related to media that also is going to cover your professional, so a liability, which is your professional services, your work, that what you say a piece of software will do, it will actually do, that it's not going to be buggy, that it's not going to cost people money, that it's not going to corrupt their system. That swath of risks, um, very, very important that that actually covers what you do. The fourth and final coverage, and again, we're going through these quick, is cyber liability. Now, if you look at your Google Analytics, on anything you create, your website, anything, bots are constantly pinging these. You know those, you know this as well as I. You may even be creating bots as part of what you do. Most of those bots, not malicious, some of them are. And if they get into your system, if they start spoofing emails, or sending out phishing scams, running ransomware, using your servers as proxies to do cyber attacks or DNS attacks, whatever, 
all of that is covered under cyber liability. Sometimes that can be packaged with your professional liability, but most of the time, especially if you have a large organization, you're gonna want that as a separate policy. And in that case, um, it's important to understand that cyber is a big part of your insurance program today. If this is the kind of relationship that you'd like to have with your insurance professional, then we would love to work with you. We work in all 50 states, so you can give us a call, 518-960-6600, wherever you are, we can work with you. You can also visit us online at roguerisk.com. You can email us at gorogue at roguerisk.com, or I'm sure there's a link button form somewhere around this video that will let you contact us. Whichever way you choose, we look forward to working with you.